You know, each news day is like a trip to the zoo. Some of the stories are like lions, big, noteworthy, and exciting. But others are like tree frogs, small, weird, and confusing. <laughs> so once we're done checking out all the marquee animals, the charismatic megafauna, as it's called over there in the monologue, I like to take a stroll through the amphibian wing and look at all the salamanders and the Japanese fire newts in my segment. Meanwhile. 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 Makes people happy. Meanwhile makes people happy. Meanwhile, this week NASA is pretending an asteroid is on its way to smack the Earth. It's a training exercise for the world's scientists and engineers to see whether the events of Armageddon can be prevented. Specifically, can they prevent that weird sort of sex scene where Ben Affleck plays with animal crackers? <laughs> it's creepy, Ben. <laughs> Meanwhile, never saw the movie. Meanwhile, <laughs> In England, scientists have found cocaine in shrimp in Suffolk rivers. Cocaine in the shrimp. That is going to be a real time saver at someone's Oscar party. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, bad news for vegetarians. America is running out of impossible burgers. I know, it seems unlikely. Improbable, even, against the odds. <laughs> the plant-based meat substitute is struggling to keep up with rising demand, which they announced just after the company expanded its partnership with Burger King. Bad move. If there's one person in all fast food you do not want to piss off, it is this guy. <laughs> He's royalty, and he is clearly psychotic. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a new Sonic the Hedgehog movie and the internet is upset about the design of the character's mouth, here's the moment that's weirding people out. Uh... Meow? <laughs> Those are the creepiest human teeth to be added to a burring shrew <laughs> since Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile... Meanwhile, <laughs> congratulations to the town of Schwastika Acres, a neighborhood in Colorado who just got a new name because the area had once been home to the Denver Land Swastika Company, which chose its name before Nazis adopted the swastika symbol. And they've just been real busy with other stuff since 1945. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, the name. Is that still a thing? We'll get to it. Now... Starting now, the new name of the town will be Old Cherry Hills. Man, are they going to be pissed when they find out about famed Nazi general Cherry Hills von Richter? <laughs> we'll be right back.